Hello everyone, here comes the story of our trip to the south west Smokies when we took Lakeshore Trail from Fontana Dam to campsite number 90 and back. And on this Google Earth map you can see Fontana Dam, Fontana Lake of course and the Lakeshore Trail that goes along this beautiful lake. And here you can see a more detailed topper map that shows the loop that we planned for that weekend. And it includes Lakeshore Trail, Lost Cove Trail and Appalachian Trail. If you look at this profile, you might guess why only three people out of eight completed the slope. The rest just took Lakeshore Trail back to the cars next morning. And here we are at Fontana Lake. Hey! <laughs> That's kind of interview Miss Quill giving me at the shore of uh, Lake Fontana right next to Fontana Dam and this is where the Appalachian Trail goes and we just ran by two through hikers actually you can see them from here so what is your plan and what you've done by now? Uh, I've done 140 or so miles to start March 1st uh -huh. oh done. here are our folks hey, we're too. <laughs> Don't believe them. Last <laughs> year. So it started March 1st. And we're going to go to Caden. His name is Mr. Monkey, in case you didn't know. Okay, stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Did you know him? Yeah. <laughs> and here comes a group picture before we start. You can see Nick, a Wild Bill. Lou, Bobby, Susie, and then Margaret, Dmitri, and Kenneth. Hey, what, what trail are we on, Nick? I don't know. We are Lake Shore Trail, right? Exactly. Headed to Lost Cove Trail, Camp 90, moderate, 5.2. What are we, 11, 11.20 start? Yeah. Done this one easy, huh? Yeah. Gardner, you should have come with us. This Gardner, is an easy stroll. We miss you. Warm day, got an early start. Big fire tonight. And here comes the first challenging string crossing. Lou's over there right now. He's helping her out. Uh, it's her first time ever crossing a stream like this. Um, I think Lou's just kind of using this for. No, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> You don't really worry about where you put your foot. Your foot's gonna get uh, nice and watery and cold, anyways. There goes, there goes. Yay! Susie's first stream crossing. Awesome. <laughs> How is it going, Missy? Good. I'm a little winded already, but. Oh, you. We need to do more of this stuff. I like your fuzzy thing on top of your camera. Ooh, it's so soft. <laughs> Are you eating the Russian food, Margaret, or is that what's going on here? Because I saw some of the stuff that Dimitri was making at last. Russian trail mix. What he had, did he make? He had like sausages and salmon patties and <laughs> some buggy looking things. There were a few abandoned cars inside the forest road at some point. They looked like they were from 1930s or 1940s. Well, we never figured it out. Think about the, this being where it's at was probably used uh, to run moonshine and stuff. Yeah. I'll guarantee you. Where where did you see the bullet holes? That big thing right there. See right here? Mm. Who knows what happened here? Finally, we reached um, Lost Cove Creek, and this is where we turn right towards campsite number 90. Now here. Here, yeah. Yeah. I drink, I drink lots of water. Um, well, we're talking about carrying water and bears. Um, we think that uh, this campsite might be closed because of bear activity. At the campsite, for some reason, Lou really liked the area torn by the wild pigs. And even after we found a better spot, he still set his tent there right next to the bear cables. 
I don't think anybody else is going to be here. Yeah, I think we ought to do this. The wild boars, which I saw about a 300 pound large black wild boar on the way in. Oh, you did? Right on the trail. Big, big boar. Oh boy, I wish I was and there. So, They've just torn up all the ground wherever anybody's camped or allowed enough fire. Pretty windy here. Folks just almost lost their tents. I got this. Huh? I think we're gonna have enough wood. Well, hopefully. I've got wood. <laughs> <Good. laughs> Bring me wood! Is the moon gonna be out tonight? Later on, our fishers tried to catch some fish. They didn't get much, but I'm sure they enjoy the scenery. And of course, a campfire at night is one of the best things about any tree. Yeah, I'm pretty good, so evidently the river has been over. Yeah, I mean, before they dammed it, probably, but this fire pit wouldn't be here if this water got above this very often. And here comes next morning. The morning report. What is the morning report? It's cold. <laughs> it's How cold, cold and it's damp. Uh, it's only about maybe 30. What time is it? It's fire time. Fire time, right. <laughs> it's uh, 7.25, but we, I haven't set my clock forward yet. Right, some people are already up, and some people are catching up with their sleep. Hey, Missy. It's, uh, it's almost nine. Oatmeal is almost ready. And the culmination of the morning. Look all the trout. Yeah, no, it's a rainbow, I think. Yeah, it's no, a rainbow. I don't think it's rainbow. It's a rainbow. No, it's a rainbow. Stream it's red. got that pink stripe down the side. Yep. Mm. So here, take a picture of it, Dimitri, and we'll do trout identification Look thing delicious. from the web. No, Who's going to cook it? Uh, you clean it, I'll cook it. <laughs> Dude, I caught it. <laughs> That's, if somebody cleans it, I'll cook it. That, hey, I'm the chief hunter-gatherer. Uh, I'm the chef. <laughs> there you go, man. <laughs> so today on Cooking with Nick, we have a freshly caught trout done by Lou. We're going to salt and pepper it, roast it on a stick, and then smather it with butter. Sounds Make awesome. Make it tasty so Dima has extra, enough food to last him to the end of the trip. <laughs> I like that. Oh, did you put a little you can stick break the through tail it to keep his belly open? Nice. You can break the tail off. I can't believe you guys didn't bring sausage. Or Dimitri. Yeah. No He's sausage. suffering. Well, steak kind of worked. Uh, no, he's out and up somewhere. 
All right, here's Dimitri. He's eating something. What do you got there, Dimitri? <laughs> I got a trout. Um, well, trout that uh, Lou just caught into, actually, what the name of the stream? What does it taste like? I mean, is it like That's actually, it's pretty good. Fish? It's it's cooked, it's cooked really well. Uh, and it's, um, Nick put some salt and pepper. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Wow, you look happy now. Mmm. Mmm. It's the first time Lou finally got something and we ate it. That's a very special moment. <laughs> and as I mentioned earlier, most people decided to take an easier way back to the cars. Including Margaret, who happened to have my trail mix. Alright, well, here it is the second day and, and uh, luckily we got through the night last night. Uh, uh, Dimitri got us lost about three or four times yesterday and we <laughs> really were losing confidence in his uh, leadership abilities. <laughs> Uh, luckily, uh, him and Margaret, they, uh, they cooked up a nice steak for us and uh, shared some of it and some uh, s'mores. And uh, that kind of made up for it a little bit. <laughs> what do you think? They're good. The yeah. s'mores were great. Yeah, it was definitely a special treat. And we had treat. fish this morning. This really was an awesome sight. I mean, look, we've got a nice river right here, a nice flat spot, open sky, we had some stars. And we didn't, and have, we didn't have any place. company. Only now we have some people showing up. But we had the thing to our Leaving ourselves. just in time. Yeah, we're leaving just in time. <laughs> Three of us still decided to continue with the plan, even though it meant crossing multiple streams and eventually climbing 2,000 feet. And we have more to go. Ooh, foo, 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 foo. And it took us three hours to cover this section. We just hit the Appalachian Trail and uh, we were supposed to meet Lou here. He took off. He is nowhere to be found. Now we're sitting here at 3,700 feet, don't know where Lou is. Probably went the wrong way knowing Lou. We found Lou. I was having hallucinations on that Lost Cove Stairway to Heaven trail from hell. And this is what is supposed to make it all worthwhile. The Shack Stack Lookout Tower. And right next to it you can see the remnants of the Fire Marshal's cabin. Going downhill was much faster, of course. And it took us only one and a half hours to get back to the parking lot. Yeah, we like, go up and come down. Another one of Dima's freaking brilliant ideas. Let's. Oh, Let's go up the oh, steepest trail. Where is my trail, trail mix? Down the steepest trail. I don't know. That was, uh, this is the trail mix like that I needed so much. <laughs> You've been hiking so hard. We <laughs> <laughs> needed so much. <laughs> just say no. It was easy. It was just a nice, easy trail. <laughs> just say no. <laughs> Way up that day. Even if we you were pushing it, we were redlining. <laughs> <laughs> what did? What sucked is starting off. You were like, did did it, and then it's like, oh crap, deep oh, water wait, crossing. Now it's... And then I went over that log forward, man. So my pack was like almost pulling me over. <laughs> I had my legs hang, hanging off one side and my pack on the other, that. like scooting across on my butt. And Dimitri <laughs> saw you and said, screw that. He just walked. He just right walked through. right across it. <laughs> yep, that's how some people did it. And this is where this exciting story ends. Thanks for watching. <laughs>